So every team at a professional level is committing the time these days. Our motivation to keep playing and, and to keep putting in the time is really just we want to be the best. We're all highly competitive people and we're not satisfied if we aren't the best. During boot camp, pretty much every day we had scrim scheduled. We'd wake up about one o'clock, we'd have scrim scheduled with one team, take a break, uh, have another team towards five or six o'clock. I record all of our scrims immediately after, watch them all back. You see if myself or our team have anything we can improve on. Plus tu vas jouer, plus tu vas voir des choses, que ça soit en classé, en match, en scrim. Les vidéos, les VOD, c'est quelque chose d'important qui nous permet d'élargir notre vision de jeu et notre compréhension de la map. The best teams really look at why specifically they lost the round or the gunfight or whatever. They try to fix it so that it doesn't happen again. I've kind of translated that to everything in my life. I wasn't always as skilled as other players, but better be damn sure I'm going to go to the rink twice as many hours as you are. And I've applied that to the game, and it really does pay off. Le jour d'un match de pro league, on peut pas avoir un problème de concentration. As a coach, I can see when players are kind of bummed out, if scrims aren't going their way. We always make sure to communicate so that everyone can be in the best possible engagement and so that everyone's supporting each other. Le fait aussi d'être à côté de ses partenaires et rien que de se taper dans le point entre chaque round, c'est vraiment une transmission d'énergie. Et puis aussi de rassurer son partenaire, lui taper dans le dos, on est ensemble dans ce combat et tu vas te relever et c'est toi qui va nous faire gagner le prochain round. Vous êtes quatre personnes dans ce team qui querem o mesmo objetivo que você. Não estou jogando ali só por diversão. Querem ganhar, querem chegar ao topo. Então essa é uma diferença, porque o foco de vocês vai ser o mesmo. Com isso eles te ajudam a crescer no jogo. In a match, when we're down, we usually keep things pretty positive. Maybe you have an off day, maybe you don't play your best, but you still know that the formula you're using to win is there. To me, winning is the biggest relief. It's like everything you've done, every minute you put into the game, you finally achieve. The excitement after winning a match, especially an important one, it's, it's huge. It kind of amps everyone up and gets them ready to continue on. I'm definitely looking forward to the Sixth Invitational. It's the championship of Siege. Whoever wins the Invitational is the champion of that year, the world champion. On est ambitieux. Notre but c'est de régner sur Rainbow Six. On veut aller au plus haut. None of us are quitters. None of us are gonna drop down and then not be the best and be like, oh well, I guess we can't make it back to the top. We all know we're capable of making it back to the top and we're not gonna stop until we're there. And you know Troy, he's really competitive. He wants to win but he wanted to do it with people he enjoyed the company of. And I think that's something that really helps them uh, stand apart from everybody else. We live des moments, but extraordinary. When we're on scene and we have the public face to us, who acclaim us, who support us, we really transcend. Everything I do, every game, I always pray to God to help me to give a victory to my companions, to help them to achieve what they want, you know? I'm going to take this for my whole life as an inspiration. And even in a moment of difficult, I'm not going to resist, you know? I'm always going to look for the best. I'm going to give the best of me. And even if it doesn't work, there will be another chance. If it is, I'm going to get it and give the best of me. Overall, if you want to get into the Pro League of Rainbow Six Siege, it's extremely achievable. And while it might seem a little bit daunting at first, anybody can do it if you really put your mind to it. What you need is to be in a team where everybody's focused on the same objective. That learning curve will accelerate, again, if you like the people you're playing with, and if they're just as committed as you. The biggest impact Siege had on my life is the way I look at life. It made me realize that you can really look at everything as a challenge. I remember in this clutch, I was pulling my hair out. It was too fast for a player to do that. A eliminação em cima do jogador quase tenta uma double kill. Olha o Nesk, double kill para ele. Vai partir terceiro, triple kill. Quatro k do Nesk, impressionante. Mais uma situação complicada para ele. Que o Pixel melhor o Nesk. Consegue o clutch espetacular, o clutch que pode garantir a vantagem que a Vectorius precisava para ir para. Typically, when you're in a 1v5, you're not supposed to win. 
you could expect sometimes that uh, players can do this kind of things, but not exactly how he made it. Depending on the situation when it comes to a one versus five clutch, it could mean a lot or it can mean a little. If we're talking about in pro league with players that are on the same level as you, it's one of the greatest feelings that you can get. When you're watching a teammate try to clutch an almost unwinnable situation, all the stress kind of goes away. You just have full confidence that he's gonna make the right decision. And so that's when he can perform at his best. You gotta have a lot of luck. You gotta have at least a little bit of negligence on the enemy team's side. And you have to be completely in the zone, just thinking about nothing but exactly where the enemies are, what angles you need to challenge, what angles you need to avoid. Some of the most important things like to consider while you're playing it is try to isolate opponents and get into as many 1v1s as possible because you are outnumbered. You want to get into the 1v1 engagements. He gets the 4K clutch in a 104. What a wonderful job. Black Dragons, Pink Gaming. They were playing against Pink Gaming and it was really a matchup. I was started to scream, the, the adrenaline was exploding in my body, and I started to shake. Oh, no, I was parado, só mirando aí, esperando alguém implantar, entendeu? Não tinha muito o que fazer, tava só mirando aí. Quando o Zig morreu, foi ah, aí complicou. Perder um X5 é quase impossível ganhar um X6, né? Segue pelo trabalho, ele. Quando eu matei esse cara aí, eu falei, mano, não vou perder esse aqui, não, aqui eu vou ganhar. Eu não escutei a Ashka ainda. Uhum. Tanto que se você o Zig aqui, ele vai falar. Ó, mais um, mais um. Aí eu viro e ah. consigo matar. Vai partir do terceiro triplo, kill! Quatro k do Nesk! Impressionante! Aí tinha a câmera ali, eu sabia que eu não ia morrer pra ele nesse Pix, porque é muito roubado. Quando você mata o quarto, cara, normalmente, sua adrenalina vai subir. Sobe muito a ponto de você tremer. Mais uma situação complicada pra ele. Tem um pixel melhor, o Nesk! Consegue um clutch espetacular! Passou a cabeça foi tipo, caramba, eu consegui fazer isso. Eu falei, eu olhei pros lados e vi o Oni colocou a mão na cara, eu falei, nossa, velho. Mas a energia que o time teve depois disso foi uma coisa inacreditável, cara. Eu mesmo senti isso, na hora eu fiquei todo arrepiado, entendeu? After you get the clutch, it is, it is a rush of excitement and feeling. I definitely think that it's one of the reasons a lot of pros stick around and are still trying to be the best. Dès qu'un kill est pris, dès qu'un round est gagné, dès qu'une map est gagné, dès qu'un match est gagné, en fait, c'est tous ces sacrifices qu'on paye. Para mim foi um momento especial porque foi meu primeiro clutch que eu ganhei, meio que eu descobri um pouco do potencial que eu posso ter. Naquele momento isso despertou e eu consegui fazer aquilo. Então foi onde eu pensei, se eu me dedicar mais, eu vou conseguir aumentar o meu nível de habilidade. Então desde aquele dia eu procuro treinar sempre, ainda mais. Procuro buscar esse mesmo potencial que eu tenho. Eu não sei se um dia eu vou conseguir, mas eu espero que sim, com toda essa dedicação que eu tenho, mas...